Hi everybody, I'm Paul Davis and the purpose of this uh, video blog is to impart to you the very important information that everybody needs to know who's coming to World Challenge 20 starting this Monday in Myrtle Beach. We're going to be uh, following the same format as we did last year, that is uh, Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, without any fanfare, we begin four days of wild card eliminations. Uh, we will be uh, posting the star order, and uh, that will be on the uh, LCD display, but we'll also be putting this up on our website. So everybody uh, who is either on the site or who is watching from home will be able to know when uh, you'll be racing. Uh, Broadway at the Beach is a spectacular uh, venue, and the only change that we're making is that we're going to uh, reorient the course by 180 degrees. That will change the position of the tower relative to where the sun is and should eliminate any issues as far as shadows. One of the things that we did do uh, this year is we uh, added heating to the trays of the Kaiser Force machines and basically that has eliminated uh, any differences that may take place as a consequence of uh, the temperatures of one being in the shadow versus the other. And we have employed this at the beginning of the season and it has worked uh, uh, extremely well and I believe we have finally uh, uh, stamped out all of the uh, concerns and complaints that people may have had about differences. Bring your pop-up, your easy-up, uh, your tailgate or whatever. We own the parking lot at Broadway at the beach and that is one of the great things unlike Las Vegas where you have to uh, basically watch your eye teeth in this setting, uh, you can camp out uh, basically all week long. Now, one of the changes that we made in the rules this year is the requirement that you have to finish uh, standing. Uh, we had a lot of damage that was done to our Scott SCBAs as a consequence of people lunging across the finish line. Every scientific study uh, that looks at dashboards has uh, proven that if you continue terminal velocity across the finish line, you're going to get your best time. Uh, we are unique in that this is the only sport where it's the trailing edge that results in stopping the clock. What has happened when people have lunged is that the feet of the dummy do not make contact with the threshold and we're left there with the clocks continuing to run. In an effort to improve safety, to reduce the trauma and damage to the carpets as well as to the SCBA, we're requiring people to finish standing up. Now, the benefit is, is that when we have close races, it's the team that stopped the clock that clearly is going to win because there will be a two second penalty that will be assessed for people who do not stop the clock. Um, the wild card eliminations are designed to cull the herd and to uh, get us to a manageable number of people on the final day. One of the complaints that has been uh, heard is that I had a time that was better, faster than the people who made it to the final day. This is about teams and if you are a member of a team and your team makes the cut, then regardless of what um, the, the cutoff is for the individuals, you're going to make it into the final round. This also applies to our, our international guests. These people have won buys on their own right and uh, have earned that spot to uh, move into the final round. So um, just as the case is the water boy on the uh, St. Louis Cardinals uh, uh, did not necessarily play, he was a part of the winning team and he's going to get a championship ring. So that's how, uh, that's how we have constructed uh, the buys. Um, this is uh, turning into being an international sport. I cannot say with any degree of accuracy how long it will be before there will only be one U.S. team in the international uh, championships. Uh, it is sometime over the horizon and in fact the World Challenge might uh, move offshore to uh, Europe or Asia or whatever depending upon um, well, you know, where the interest levels may take us. But for right now, that, this is the paradigm, and we follow an Olympic mile, model, excuse me, and that is where um, each time a company will get some sort of representation. I also mentioned that we no longer can play all the national anthems. There will be one national anthem played, and that is of the host country. The final day of the competition is the walk-on. We want every state, province, country represented. 
and we have flags uh, for, for every occasion, and those flags will be issued out. A flag bearer will be designated, and this uh, is a march on that you will not want to miss. So even if you're not in the relays, you are invited, encouraged, cajoled to please uh, take part in the, uh, in the march. Last year we did a stationary camera with one person on a chat line. And we are expanding our efforts substantially to the point where we'll have three cameras. We will have pre-game shows, we'll have post-day analysis, we're going to have interviews, we've got special features, we've got music, we've got graphics, and we want to thank Lion for making all of this possible. So be sure to tell all your friends and family to tune in. Also, you'll have the benefit of being able to watch the event from the privacy of your own hotel room. But a note of caution, and that is do not think that this is going to give you some inordinate buffer as to when to show up. The rule is if we call you three times and you're a no-show, you will be disqualified. And regrettably in the past, this has happened. So uh, it's a great benefit, but don't rely heavily on when you think you're going to be running. Uh, be there and be on time. So, uh, in, in summary, we, uh, we want to congratulate you for, for coming. This is going to be a really, really great show. And we'd like you to keep in mind that there is a purpose behind the growth of the Scott Firefighter Combat Challenge, which is greater than trying to satisfy everybody's ego. So, for the crew of On Target and the people at Scott, this is Paul Davis saying thank you for coming and thanks for watching.